Moving on to the mitzvahs of Yom Kippur. First, we learn the mitzvah that we are obligated to rest, not to do any of the 39 acts of labor on Yom Kippur. And second is the mitzvah that we are not to eat or drink on Yom Kippur, which is learned from the positive mitzvah, which says that you should afflict your souls, meaning that we shouldn't eat or drink, engage in physical relations, wear leather shoes, bathe or anoint ourselves on this day. It's also learned from the fact that Yom Kippur is called Shabbat Shabbaton, meaning a double Shabbat. A basic Shabbat means that we don't work. A double Shabbat means that we refrain from all of the above-mentioned things also. Along with this comes the two negative mitzvahs, not to work on Yom Kippur and not to eat or drink on Yom Kippur. Chassidus explains that on Yom Kippur, our Yechida, the highest part of our soul, which is completely one with Hashem, is shining and Hashem sees us in a place which is, which is above our inequities, above all, our, all of our sins, a place of forgiveness, a place of oneness with God, giving us the strength to overcome and return to Hashem from all of our sins and refresh and restart for the coming year. Thank you for joining.